Okay, so let's take a look at how we would do question number two, where we have to plot the inequalities um, and shade in the solution set. But one of our sets of information here is telling us that we can only allow the set of integers. So that is what x um, is the member of the set i and y is the member of the set i. And then the other one is the set of reals. So what is the difference when we try to plot those equations and how do they... Um, how do they look when we draw them on a graph? So the first thing let's do is let's take the existing question here, x minus y is greater than or equal to two, and turn it into our point slope form of an equation. Okay, so we're gonna leave the y on the, uh, the left side, so we're gonna just leave that as negative y um, greater than, and we need to move the x over to the other side, so that means we're going to subtract x on both sides, so we're gonna have negative x and then plus two. So this is, our equation is now in the form, <clears throat> excuse me, y um, greater than or equal to x plus a number. So that is equivalent to the y equals mx plus b expression. But now we do need to get rid of the negative 1. So we have to divide all terms um, by negative 1. Okay, so, and then remember when we're dividing by negative, we have to switch the inequality around. So it will become y is less than or equal to, then we have negative x over negative one. That's just gonna give us positive x. And then two divided by negative one is just negative two. So from this, we can determine a couple of things. We know our slope um, for this equation is just going to be equal to one. It's the number in front of the x. So it's rise over run or one over one, if we want to uh, be more specific with it. And our intercept, our y-intercept is going to be at the coordinate pair um, zero, negative two, okay? So how, we just need to plot this on, on our graph. So I'll just scroll down here, um, put a dot at the zero, negative two, and a slope of being positive one, which means we rise one unit and then go over one unit, um, for every point on the graph means that we would just um, move up in sort of a diagonal line. So up one over one, okay? And then conversely, we go down one, negative one, and then over negative one. But remember, negative over negative would give us a positive. So our points would look like that. Okay, so now we have at least two points here. So we can draw a line to connect the the points together and then the question is is it a solid line or is it a dashed line well we know from the expression that it is less than or equal to so i'll just circle that in a different color so we know that because it is less than or equal to this is going to be a solid line okay so we'll just draw it as straight as we can here um, and it goes on and extends in both directions. So just draw it a little further out like this. Now the question is, what do we do about the inequality? And how do we represent just the integers for that inequality? Okay, so first of all, do we shade the upper or the lower part? Well, we, it says here y is less than. So if we pick a test point um, like 0, 0, um, and we put that in, we would find out, for example, if y is 0 and x is 0, the statement would become 0 is less than negative 2. Okay, and that's not true because negative numbers are less than 0. Um, so we wouldn't be shading the upper part of the line. We would actually have to shade the lower part of the line. Um, and we can also do the shortcut where we see that y is less than x minus 2. So that means we're going to be shading values um, below um, the line on the y-axis. So it'll be the area below. But now, <clears throat> is it actually a shaded area or is it something else? So integers mean that we cannot have values in between the numbers. So for example, we can't, if we're having an integer three and an integer four, okay, we can't include numbers in between three and four, like 3.1 or 3.2, okay? So those aren't allowed to be shown in our graph. So the way you do this is that you only uh, mark in dots on the whole number coordinates, okay? So what I mean by that is that you can only pick values that are actual integer um, coordinate pairs. So it's a little bit tedious, but what you end up doing is just putting dots in at all the intersections of where um, the coordinates would be. So 
this actually falls right on the line so you can actually include all the points on the line okay and remember these are integer pairs so we're actually not we're implying we're not connecting um, numbers in between those dots but you would just shade every coordinate like this so you can just go add a few here um, to kind of just get the idea of where the shaded region would be um, so there'd be a lot of dots to, to put in essentially you'd have to do the entire grid below this line okay so that you can keep just keep going and, and and you could shade all that in but this would give you the idea that we're looking at all integer values below that line and then if we look at our other equation um, so the other equation is a little bit different we're now plotting on the set of real numbers so if, again if we turn this equation into a point slope form um, I'm going to write down here y is less than and then I'm going to move the 2x over to the other side so that's going to give you negative 2x and then minus 1 so our equation is already in point slope form so we know our slope here is equal to negative 2 over 1 and our y-intercept here is going to be equal to 0 negative 1 okay so we can just look at this line again 0 negative 1 I'll just do this in a different color okay is right here um, and then our slope is 2 units down negative so rise over run so two units down and then over positive one so that means we actually would put a blue dot right there so that would give us a little two points so we could then connect that um, with a straight edge and just draw a line up and extend it so that you have your current line there and then we see that it's also a set of real numbers so real numbers mean that we can shade a region and because it also says y is less than, that means we are gonna be shading numbers below the line. So we could just take your pencil and you can just shade all values um, below that blue line. Okay, so the, <clears throat> the solution to these two um, equations, um, if they asked you for the solution area, I'll put this in another color, it's just where the two areas overlap so it would be included this area right here that I'm drawing in purple and this other wedge piece down here that would be the included um, solution area but only one part of them are integers and then one part of them are real numbers so you'd have to see um, if what what solutions would be valid if they asked you for for further analysis on those questions okay so that's how you do this question um, it's just a little bit different just because of the integer sets that are required for, for you to plot but you just show them as discrete dots on the uh, on the grid